what's up everyone duquesne 23 you're bringing the halo 4 weekly recap video and in this video i'll be covering the new images from the forward until dawn web series the oxm magazine cover and also some information about the grunts now the very first story that was covered this week although there wasn't that much information the very first story this week covered the halo bulletin now bs angel went to la to do some motion capture stuff or in other words some mocap stuff uh, for short now of course she can't talk about any of this information uh she said you know that she's just gonna have to wait a little while to be able to talk about what they were motion capturing and you know what part in the story it is uh but then the second part of the halo bulletin was an article that was titled meet your halo 4 enemies and this week's enemy is the grunt now i'm guessing it, you know by them saying that next week it'll be like the elites or jackals or maybe possibly the new enemies that will be showing up in halo 4. but they talk about the grunts or as they're actually known as the ungoy uh, that is their real name uh, humans just kind of you know gave them a nickname called the grunts and they also state in this article as for how the grunts of past halo games in halo 4 compare are they different species, a result of natural mutation, selective breeding, or genetic mutation within a single species? We're not ready to show our cards here just yet. We can say that there are certain species on Earth which exhibit extraordinary differences within their kind. And then they explain it as saying it's like a Great, a great Dane versus a Pomeranian. And also later on they go on to say that we are not recategorizing a species, upsetting an apple cart, or changing the canon. We're doing what we always do. We're layering details, evolving the art, pushing the universe onwards and outwards. We're making the change for holistic reasons, never for change's sake. Then also they say, so the next time you see an enemy that looks a little different or a weapon slash vehicle that doesn't match the predecessor's verbatim, or even a backstory that doesn't appear to be the whole story, understand that the Halo universe is big enough to hold all of them safely and securely together and will do so with a smile on its face. And whenever you doubt that, just take the incredible variability you find in a contemporary world and multiply it by a thousand. Then you will get a hint at just how big the 26th century galaxy-spanning Halo story is to us. We're hoping that in the coming months and years, you'll get to see just how big that really is. Spoiler, it's really big. They're trying to tell everyone just because a character or a weapon slash vehicle may look different, uh, don't start freaking out and all that stuff. I know a lot of people were complaining the way elites look and all that type of stuff. They're sitting there, I don't understand that though. They're complaining that, oh, they look so different and same thing with the grunts. It's just like, of course they're going to look different. They don't want to keep the exact same looking stuff because then people will start complaining about that. It's the exact same thing. Great example, Modern Warfare 3. I'm not trying to bring in a huge war here between Halo and uh, Call of Duty. I'm just stating what tons of people have said is that Modern Warfare 3 pretty much seems just like Modern Warfare 2. The graphics really aren't updated that much, you know, things really aren't different enough and people complained about that. And so now a lot of people are complaining that Halo is changing. You know, pretty much 343 is stuck between a rock and a hard place just because if they change it, people will complain. If they don't change it, people will complain. So everyone just stay calm and just wait till you play the game. Then you can judge it. Now the second story that I covered this week went over the OXM magazine. In case you don't know what OXM is, it's the official Xbox magazine. And it was the cover shows a picture of the Call of Duty, but in the top right corner, it looks kind of like a stamp and it says, OMG, Halo 4, new maps, new villains, new hero. So pretty much here in 11 days on May 22nd, the July issue of official Xbox magazine will be coming out and they'll have an eight page story over Halo 4. It will be covering some new maps. So finally we get something else besides Wraparound and Warhouse. And also the new villains on there. So maybe those are the Prometheans or the Forerunners or something like that. And also the new hero. Um, they put that in there and I have no idea what that is. And so it's kind of exciting to see what the new hero is. Um, I've been told from some other people that there are Spartans still alive on the shield world and one of them is Linda058 and so you know people have told me uh, that information because you know they've read the books and everything I haven't read the books personally which I know I probably should but to me I sit down and start reading I get kind of bored uh, I don't have anything to do with the book it's just that 
I can't sit there and read anymore. I used to do, be able to do that whenever I'm younger, but now I just can't do that anymore. But um, they said in the books, it does say that they are some are still alive and they are on the Shield World, and one of them is Linda058. So that would be very interesting. And I do know that she has a relationship with Master Chief, uh, not necessarily like, you know, a love relationship, but like a, you know, a friendly relationship with Master Chief. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Now also some information came out about the web series and it included some images, which included Master Chief with a whole bunch of flames behind him and all that stuff. So it looks really cool and he was attached to a wire. So I'm guessing he's going to be jumping off of that roof or getting blown off of the roof or something like that. Um, and also some UNSC people, which this is possibly uh, maybe some like officers and stuff like that. And also it shows the Warthog, which that Warthog looks extremely sexy and it would be awesome to just be able to get in and start driving around and start running over a few things. Because, you know, that's what you want to do with a Warthog, just run over some stuff and maybe jump some off some cliffs and everything. Now, the very last bit of information that came out this week was an interview with the people making the soundtrack for Halo 4. And it does say that the orchestra recordings for Halo 4 soundtrack are currently taking place at the iconic Abbey Road Studios in London. So again, I can't wait to hear more information about that just because I love the soundtrack in Halo, like all the Halos. And I can't wait to hear more songs that are from Halo 4 because so far they sound amazing. But pretty much guys, that's all the information I have for you today. Be sure to click that subscribe button up above and also check out all the links down below if you want the full stories. And be sure to like the video also and I will see y'all next time. Later guys.